Pastor Ezekiel Odejo gives a rare glimpse into his family's private life during arrest. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is the Trends Digest and my name is Sarah Cyrus. Now, if you are new here, please consider subscribing so that you can be alerted once we remove our next trending video. Now, Pastor Ezekiel Odero of New Life Church has given the public a rare glimpse into his family's private lives during the period when he was in police custody before his lawyers secured his release. Addressing his followers for the first time, the pastor noted that during the events of the last few days that took a toll on his wife and family as he battled to clear his name from allegations linking him to Pastor Paul's Mackenzie and Shakahola massacre. He has exposed that the incident didn't really work out so well for his family and it wasn't a really good time for them. Now, according to the pastor Ezekiel, his wife, Sarah, never slept in their bedroom for the seven days that he was away. She resorted to lie on the floor in deep thoughts as she pondered the way forward with her husband in police custody. She has not slept in her bedroom since the last time. She was lying on the floor, he exposed. He continued, so I really don't know how my wife and I would thank all of you. We would like to humble ourselves here and thank you all. Pastor Ezekiel explained this to the congregation in the company of his wife. Kigen Moi, the son of ex Baringo Senator Gideon Moi, has wedded Rebecca at a private ceremony in Kericho County. It was surely pomp and glamour as Gideon Moi's son did have his exclusive wedding ceremony. As I mentioned earlier, former Baringo Senator Gideon Moi's eldest son, that is Kigen Moi, has tied the knot in a glamorous event. On Saturday, May 6th, Kigan and his lover wedded at an exclusive ceremony in Kericho County that was attended by close family and friends. In attendance were senior politicians and prominent personalities including former Energy CS Charles Carter and former NMS boss Mohamed Badi. Details about the wedding remain scanty with just a few photos surfacing online to give a sneak peek. Well-placed sources are privy to the detail who spoke to a section of the press on condition of remaining anonymous revealed that the bride hails from a prominent family that has enjoyed close friendship with the Moy family for years. The groom is a graduate of the prestigious University of Bristol in England and loves playing polo. Speaking of wedding bells, it seems that Michelle Ntalami and Chipukizi are going to have one wedding ceremony for themselves, according to Michelle Ntalami's latest post on Instagram stories. Michelle Ntalami updates and she tags Chipukizi and she writes, putting a ring on it. Thank you for today. I do quote, what are your thoughts on this? How do you interpret this message? Are they serious or is it just yet another cloud stunt? On more exciting news, Kenyan YouTuber Aya Marwa and Langata MP Jalango are in USA. The YouTuber Ayam Marwa expresses saying it was amazing meeting my country mate and brother Jalango in a foreign land here in Washington, D.C., United States. He is an inspiration to me. He used to be an influencer like me, but today he is a member of parliament in my country, Kenya. Such a humble brother. Jalango did also disclose that Ayam Marwa, the YouTuber, did take him to White House. Now, following that, Jalango did update his stories on Instagram, posting his time with Ayam Marwa. Let's have a look.
Mara here. I'm uh, with Jalas himself, just chilling in Washington DC. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for saying Jalama meets Marwa, he's right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys wanted me to meet you. Yeah. Then uh, we are here with the and Mutua 3. Uh, Mutua 3, right? Yes, Mutua yes. 3. There's a YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. You have a YouTube channel now? Yes, yes. That's my <laughs> How is that channel. coming? Oh, it's going great. Um, I got actually 50% Marwa's followers. Yeah, 50% of Marwa followers. Yeah. Now you will also get my followers. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you so much. Guys, go follow uh, Mutua, Mutua 3. Yes. I'll just tag him right now. Yeah. So here we are at uh, Swahili Village. Yeah. Uh, I'm having goat meat yes. with Ugali. Uh, yes, this is Washington. Yeah. He's serving mo uh, mokimo, plantain, yeah. and plantain and uh, mbuzi apple. Yeah. At and least uh, you are having fish, eh? Yeah, I'm having fish fillet. Let's enjoy yeah. now. Yeah, and some. Uh... It is clearly evident that the two did connect and they had the time of their lives. Now guys, there you have it. Those are the trending topics of the day. What are your thoughts? Feel free to let us know your honest opinion down in the comment section below. Now once again, this is The Trends Digest and my name is Sarah Cyrus. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, please consider to do so so that you can be alerted once we remove our next trending video.